Hi everyone, welcome back to Chilling with Chili Sid indoors again. So today I'm going to be doing a sauce that I picked up at the Hot Sauce Emporium when I went up. So this is Lazy Scientist Brixton Streetwear Heat. So check out the logo on that one. There we go, Lazy Scientist. Ah, oh, that's much better. Brixton Streetwear Heat. So it's just a lovely simple label and I've had Lazy Scientist sauces before. They are lush. Right, really nice. So let me just fight through this just to show you the bottle. Now as you can see, the sauce itself Hold on a minute, has got loads of flex and bits. Can you see those flex? Oh, I don't know if I can focus it any nearer. There we go, flex and bits. It's got a nice pour on it. Well, the pour is quite thick, so it's a thick sauce. It's taking its time to come down. There we go, now let's just shake it up. You can't hear the glute that much, can you? So, yeah, that's just a lovely thick sauce. So, ingredients wise, um, let's have a quick look at the ingredients. We've got mango, agave syrup, lime juice, tomato puree, Carolina Reaper, nice Carolina Reaper, salt, um, garlic, rapeseed oil, curry powder, mustard, chili powder, cider vinegar, paprika and celery. So it's got celery base in it. So tanginess in there, I think you've got the lime juice and Oh, lime juice is only one. And cider vinegar. So they, you could, the pH will be low, so you, you could obviously use it in marinating things. Um, ch chili wise, you've got the chili powder and the Carolina Reaper, so that's going to be kind of a hot. It hasn't got a heat indicator on it, so I'm thinking it's not going to be mega hot. There's no chili indicator on here. So, what have they said? Um, hot curry sauce, it's a hot curry sauce, it's probably like a chip sauce, chip sauce curry sauce, but better, um, with mango and agave syrup. So, this hot curry sauce was created especially by Steve, um, aka the lazy scientist, for Dan. For Dan to dip his fish ch shop chips in, so as I said, chip shop chip, uh, chip shop curry sauce, um, as a homage to his mysterious past, it's a super hot, it's super hot, so it's going to be super hot, with the addition of reapers, chili, reaper, Carolina reaper, so not really suitable for any other member of the family, especially not Pete. Okay, so Pete, if you're out there, it's not for you, mate, okay, don't have it. So that's quite, a little, that's quite nice there. Um, nice logo, ingredient, shake well before use. Okay, nothing for it, it's gonna be a hot one. Nice, okay, so here we go. I'll just shake, shaking it and all the bits are floating down, they're really lush. Okay, I can detect the garlic and maybe a very small hint of the reaper pod, but it has got celery base in it and the, the sugar in there as well, syrups and things like that. So, it's, it's just going to, I'm going to have to do it on the spoon because I can't quite detect everything. So here we go. Look, oh, I'll just see if you can see it there. Wow, here we go. It's got bits in it. It's lush, creamy, smooth. It's a beautiful um, orangey colour. It's got a mangoey colour as opposed to turmeric. It's a really nice, rich mangoey colour. Lush, it's got a nice sheen to it. So, let's have another, another aroma. Yeah, just the garlic and, you know, I can't detect the heat in there. So, nothing for it. Thank you, see for this one. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. The first thing you get is the garlic coming in and the heat is there. I can taste it on my tongue, at the tip of my tongue. Now, it's not overpoweringly hot. It's more mangoey, mangoey, fruity, garlicky hint to it. So guys, having tasted this sauce, it's um, it's got layers to it. So initial heat, uh, initially you get the heat. I've got it on the tip of my tongue, and for me, it's not uncomfortable. It's nice. Um, so if you don't eat chilies, this will probably be like an eight for you, okay? But if you do eat chilies, it's one or two, and it's really, really nice. So the mango flavour comes through, the celery comes through, and the, and the celery freshens it and lightens the actual base of the sauce, the whole texture in your mouth. Um, I can taste the garlic hint in there, mango hint in there. It's tangy, but not overpoweringly tangy. It's actually an overall nice mouthful of sauce. It's making my mouth water. So, Steve, thank you. This is a really good sauce. This Brixton Streetwear Heat. Not mega hot, but, you know, it's it's a really nice sauce. Now, for the, the, the use is, it's, it's meant to be a chip shop curry sauce, but it's so much better than your average chip shop curry sauce. And for people who don't know what a chip shop curry sauce is, uh, in, in, the, in the chip shops in England, you can order curry sauce. 
And it's like this hot curry sauce, yeah, it's got like more of the Asian flavours in it and it's quite hot if you check it over your chips, yeah. So this is designed to be like a chip shop curry sauce. So the first thing you can do with this one is chip shops, chips, yeah. So chips, wedges, anything fried, you can put this in. I think it'll be really good in pastas, pasta bakes and things like that because it's got that texture and that creaminess that can go with the pastas, salads, all of those things. With a low pH, you can marinate your meat, your vegetarian things with this one. Um... You could probably add it to your food as well, cooking, um, drizzle it over rice because uh, it'll give it the fruity and the heat. So things like rice and um, couscous and fluffles and all of those things and wraps, um, nachos, you can dip with it. Um, cooking wise, I feel that it's too nice to just chuck it in a casserole or, or lentils or rice or things like that, chuck it in, into things because the flavour will dissipate. Um, more like dipping, you know, like the chip shops, yeah. So you can put it over your fish, over your anything you get fried. Um, I'm just thinking, racking my brains, what else I could put on? Pasta's really, really good. Col salads and pasta bakes, all of those things. Um, you can try it with your pakoras, your vegetarian uh, pakoras, things like that, because it'd be a nice dipping sauce. Okay, if you buy this sauce and you've got any more suggestions, please give me comments. Guys, the lazy scientist, Brixton Streetwear Heat. You know what to do by now, yeah? If you like this sauce or the view, order, 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 like, subscribe. Thank you for watching.